the credentials are impeccable. This new comedy drama, set at a Buddhist retreat in the Scottish Highlands, is written by Sam Bain, BAFTA-winning co-creator of The All-Conquering Peep Show and Fresh Meat, and directed by comedy legend Kathy Burke. It makes for 90 minutes that are both amusing and biting, but a rather static scenario means that it stops some way short of greatness. Luke Samuel Anderson, a former city high flyer, has hidden himself way up a Scottish mountain. He wants to convince the world, and most importantly himself, that he has seen the error of his former ways and Bane is very perceptive about the ease with which we can become hooked on cures. Luke, formerly high on the buzz of long hours, big bucks and hookers, is now addicted to meditation. He's certainly not expecting the arrival of his less successful brother Tony Adam Deacon, who arrives with some cocaine, a large Toblerone and a salutary dose of home truths. Terry Yasmin Akram, a fellow retreater dressed as a green goddess in body paint and a tiara, completes the setup which, agreeable as it is, takes too long to move on from its initial premise. There are some laugh-out-loud lines but others, for all their cleverness, sound a little strained and inorganic on the tongue. This powerful show, which unites British and Argentinian veterans from the Falklands War, returns the royal court after a hugely successful run last year. Lola Arias' devised show puts an emphasis on personal testimonies from war to convey the horror, with the hugely moving decision to have men who fought against one another perform together on the same stage. Until November 11th, Royal Court, RoyalCourtTheatre.com If you're a fan of Peep Show or Fresh Meat, you might like this new play at the Park Theatre. It's written by BAFTA-winning writer Sam Bain, who co-wrote both shows. To make matters funnier, the play, about a city worker who heads to the Highlands for a mindful retreat, will be directed by Kathy Burke. November 2nd, December 2nd, Park Theatre, ParkTheatre.co.uk Thomas Eccleshare's play about a reclusive children's writer received acclaim at this year's Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Now's your chance to see it in London. The Verity Bargdy award-winning writer asks powerful questions about storytelling, language and prejudice. Until November 18th, Bush Theatre, BushTheatre.co.uk This festival declares itself to be non-Brexit-fearing, and brings a whole host of international artists and performers to venues around London. Check out Guide on What to See. November 818 Voile I Europe Festravel.com The Tate gets in on the act for this year's Russian Revolution centenary events with an exhibition marking a revolution in visual culture. Propaganda posters, prints and photographs from the collection of graphic designer David King make up most of the collection, offering an illustrated guide to a momentous time in world history. November 8th, February 18th, TateModernTate.org.uk Deacon, best known for the films Kidulthood and Adulthood, is terrific value as he delivers Tony's constant stream of canny incredulity at what he sees and discovers his determination to puncture this hermetic little bubble is pleasingly double-aged. The brothers know each other's weak spots, how best to needle, and they are not going to pull any punches. Tony, seemingly an interloper in paradise, might yet redeem himself. Until December 2nd, Park Theatre, parktheatre.co.uk.